What's going on everyone? This is Porsche Power. Today we're going to be looking at the For Honor Collector's Edition. This is the Collector's Edition that was sold on the Ubisoft store only and sold out quite a while ago. So I was fortunate enough to get my hands on one. As you can see here on the box, they only made 2,000 of them. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. Now this is one of two collector's editions that are being offered for For Honor. The second is a GameStop exclusive that comes with a Triforce statue of the Warlord Knight. However, I personally thought this was the more appealing of the two in that it comes with a actual metal replica helmet of each of the three factions, so you're not limited to just one. So right on the top is the gold edition of For Honor, and right beneath that, in rather simple packaging it seems, is the For Honor original soundtrack. Kind of baffling that they didn't put this in a, uh, a better case, but we'll see how the rest turns out. Symbols for the three factions. If you're like me, you've been waiting for this game for a while, so I am pretty excited right now. Um, I have previously posted some alpha impressions from the early alpha back last October. So if you haven't checked those out yet or you're unfamiliar with what For Honor is all about, you can find those on our site. So a pretty nice box. Uh, as you can likely see in some of the background, I collect a lot of collector's editions and video game collectibles. And uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, so. <clears throat> right at the top here is a message from the creative director of the game, and it says, we believe that combat is an art. Combat is an art form where the artists may give their life for what they believe in. Even more, we believe that weapon fighting is one of the most beautiful, frightening, thrilling, visceral forms of combat. Fighters are sculptures in motion. With For Honor, our purpose is to put a weapon in your hand, put you on an epic medieval battlefield, and then give you all the tools you need to be the difference between defeat and victory. We strive so that you might have the chance to discover that battlefield artist within yourself. Whether you are a knight, a viking, or a samurai, thank you for being one of the most loyal fans. See you on the battlefield. That's a really nice touch. You, know, you don't see things often like that in collector's editions or any editions of video games, so that's, that's pretty neat that they did that. <clears throat> on the other side of that message is the limited edition lithograph, basically depicting a, an active battlefield. So that's nice as well. I'll likely get a frame for that. And underneath we have the whole purpose of buying this collector's edition in the three helmets. So if I take these out one by one, well, that's got some weight to it. There is the Viking helmet, <clears throat> the knight helmet, and the samurai helmet. And these are 
very, very heavy. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at the quality here. <clears throat> Get the rest of the packing out here. <clears throat> here is the stand, and as you can see, uh, this actually says this is copy 972 out of 13,065. So I'm assuming that the 2,000 were maybe made for Xbox One editions, which this is, and the rest were a combination of PS4 and PC. <clears throat> it's like it comes with three separate pegs. And each of these helmets underneath here has a slot that goes right in the top of the peg. So perfect for displaying and making sure they don't kind of fall over on you. <clears throat> There you have it. Gotta say I'm pretty pleased with this. The gold edition, the lithograph, the metal replica helmets, the collector's a box. It was a pretty good deal if you're a fan of the game. So there it is. The Ubisoft For Honors Collector's Edition. I hope to see you on the battlefield. And I hope that you too will be part of the night. Because that's the only real answer of course.